I call this the Dick Deck because it's a little bit graphic in that kind of a way. Let's see what we get here. It's too many. Scoop these out of the way. Because these are big. and smalls. Yeah. Wow. Okay. room. What I'm getting immediately as I'm turning around selecting decks, it's ladies night and I'm feeling all right. Yeah, yeah, it's ladies night and I'm feeling all right. You were a player, a fucking player. Like the one that I warned them about, the one that they, their mamas would warn them about. You come in as the storm, as the lightning, shaking things up, waking everything's up. Everything's like, it's like, ovaries awaken. <laughs> Cock of the block. I don't know how to call it any different. Part of it is a little bit of like um, a facade. Part of it is like putting on an act to a degree. But you come in as big time player, player, later, lady slayer. Huge, huge, huge. Wherever you go is the party. Wherever you go is the storm. And... Um, I think that relationships are semi-disposable to you in this particular time. Now, that's this the, this period of time. Um, how how how? What's the word? Maybe like um. It's not quite Sereno, but it's like um. Romeo doesn't even cover it. Romeo is like grossly inadequate to this. Romeo doesn't cover it. You are player, player. I don't know the name of this person, but yeah. You worry and you have anxiety about something, and so you take a lot of time playing the game, playing the romance game a lot, lot, lot. So you are constantly on the make, on the move, on the prowl. You're on, on, on. Always on, shrinking on. And <laughs> you come up slightly immature as a page of cups. You don't come up as the knight of cups because player, player isn't exactly who you are, but it's an obstacle and it's a mask you use. When you think about things too much, you worry too much about the responsibility. You've seen somebody quite cruel in how they've treated people, so you do exactly the opposite. So if you've seen, yeah... It seems like you've seen your father be really harsh, cold, and unfeeling. So instead of going that way, you went the exact opposite. You let your feelings be known everywhere. Um, Shades of Scarlet Pimpernel, Romeo on steroids. It, it, it's Casanova. I was thinking Cyrano, but it's not Cyrano. It's Casanova. It's like big time. Big time. Like, yeah, you are big time panty melter of your day. And this feels back in time. This feels, um, I don't know how far back in time. I won't try and get time yet. It's not telling me that yet. It just feels back in time. There's five significant ladies that are quite significant that you've broken five hearts really badly. You look back on it as you've gotten older. You wish you would have done differently. You wish you would have not been quite so callous. But this is as you're older. In this type of time, this is you and this is you. In this type of time, you are just busy. Like, your dance card would be full all the time, all the time. There's a stroke of genius in how you do this. Like, you, it's very Casanova. Shit and fire, holy moly. What changes this for you? How long? Because you obviously change. Obviously. The illusion is seen through from the priestess. Ah. Uh, 
Ha! She sees right through you and it chaps your fucking hide. Now we want to explore. Who is this? How is this? She sees through you. Your game does not work on her. And even if she were to like fall into your clutches, to be very dramatic, she still wouldn't be fooled by you. She'd operate more like a Casanova herself. Wow. Wow. It's Casanova meets Casanova. It's not Romeo and Juliet at all. You aren't sweeping her off her foot and like initiating her into the world of, oh, enjoy your sexuality or taking her her virginity. Her blah, blah. No, no, watch out. She sees right through you. Why? Because a player recognizes a player. That's why. Wow. Oh, shit. Holy moly. I can't wait to snoop in here. Okay. All right. Where are we at? Where are we at? That's the wrong question. All right. We want to know about her. You see her. It's like you're peeking out and you see her. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, you guys are both game and game on. Look at this. Game in and game on. Show, show, show. Show for the recording, too, because game and game, game and game on. You see this? She sees. You, you guys recognize each other like nobody's business. She's a little bit body. All right, all right. We, we, this is why I couldn't get time. We're getting all of these cards that look like um, England and all the Euro, Euro, Euro. This isn't England, Euro, Euro. This is Old West. The time came through very clearly right here. This is Old West. This is somebody that knows how to play the game. Work it, work it, work it, work it. Play the game, work it, work it, work it. Cross the river. This is this is the time period of Old West. Did you guys cross Miss... You guys went from the south and crossed the Mississippi to actually go out west as a unit, as a couple. She's on to you. She's on to your games. Is she going to put up with any philandering? It, because it's just she's that way herself? Or have you guys gotten more? Oh my goodness. She is surrounded. She draws the men like honeybees. Like, like look, look, look. She's just totally surrounded. And here you are stuck it's like this is what changes you because you see her and of the two of you she knows the game better she is more skilled at the game it doesn't mean she's like the slut of the century no but she knows the game she constantly has people attending around her buzzing around her buzzing around her buzzing around her and you're doing whatever you can to impress her it's not working it's turning everything on its head but you guys do pair up You get an idea, you tell her, I have an idea, come with me, we'll go out west, here's my idea. We don't have to be gilded birds in the cage, we can create something different. I think you guys are creating a game. I think you do run cons, I think you create game. I think you guys are skilled at the poker tables, literally skilled. I think you go through saloon after saloon after saloon. Yes, you do. <laughs> and then you come out together. Now, if you run this grift too much, people will be on to you, but that's okay. You guys are working your way out. I don't think that it catches up with you in a bad way, but you don't. You definitely get jealous if she's with another, if she's dancing with another. You get jealous, but you're, you're working your way. This is prior to the World's Fair in time. So, yes, this Old West time period feels right, but there is, there is definitely um, a big... Um, atmosphere of adventure seeker of, of, I, I'm getting fair and I don't, that's not the right word and it's not circus either. It's just going for the adventure, for the new, for the whole endeavor of it all, going out for the new, um, the adventure together. You guys, you guys want to look out for each other how you can. 
I think at first you're running the con. I don't I don't think you get her like um I think player recognizes player at first and you guys run this game and you run this game from down south across the Mississippi and out west and as you do this relationship starts to unfold and get deeper because you don't like her in the dance halls, you don't like her dancing with others, and you don't like her perhaps in jeopardy. You're having to get a little bit more mature and I'm not sure she's gonna slow down for you. It's an equal offer. You bring out this playful energy in each other, this playful spirit, this, this let's go for it, let's go for it. Here's you two going out there, absolutely going out there. She's a Cyrano every bit like she, there you are, look at these. Here's you, you guys going on the adventure, and here's you guys both as the Cyranos. Not the Cyranos, Casanovas. But you do wear the mask. Cyrano wore the mask, but you're more Casanova. Casanova's the character. I call it the wrong one. I'm getting my um, names confused. But you guys wear the player's mask, for sure. And you're the Casanovas. What do you do? Oh, she knows. She knows. She knows she's got the honey and she will wait to fight her own battle. She's not waiting for you to ride the hero horse at all. And you are like thwarted because you don't know how to wrap your head around this. You retreat a little bit. You, you withdraw a little bit. You're feeling very, very thwarted. She's hurt your heart a time or two because she's had an interest in someone else. But you're on this travel together and you want to be on this travel together with her exclusively. She's not ready for you to just do that. She's, she's very independent. Hang on, we need another deck. Where did that little green fucker... There it is. Your ego is slightly brusque because second fiddle isn't how you want to play. You want to sweep her off her feet, and you want her. You want more of a commitment than she is ready to give you. She says no. She denies you for years. This is like three plus years of trying to impress her, trying to woo her, trying to win her over. Three plus years of knowing that she's just not that into you. And you recognize, you don't fault her for being the player that she is, but this this trip from the south across to the west, where do you end up going? Okay, give me a second. I want to get some geography. Geography is tricky right now. We're going... Here's south, here's the Mississippi, here's Texas going, going, going. I think you're in the southwest. I think you're past beyond Texas. Maybe New Mexico or Arizona. Maybe. I don't know if you, it, it doesn't seem to go clear to California. Wild. Wild. Okay. Let's see what else. Hang on. You get to some place where there's big gift, big reward. There's mountains, there's towns, there's establishment. You're past the point of just like the gambling saloon halls. There's a little town that crops up. And this is where she finds that she might want to get one over. This is where she sees you. You announce your presence like, ta-ta, look at this town. We could go settle down in this town. Don't you want to settle down? Aren't you sick of this adventure? And she kind of gives it another thought. She thinks, well, maybe, maybe that is. She's still, she, she is out of your league and you don't know what to do and that's okay. But I think that you guys come up with a plan. Instead of gaming hall after gaming hall after gaming hall, I think you guys go into business. There she is. And yes, you do. You let it unfold, but it, she's in charge. She's not going to have anything. She's not going to yield anything over to some dumb man that doesn't know what they're doing because she had to wisen up quick as a person. She had to wisen up real fast to hold her own. So everything Everything is going to be at her pacing, at her speed. And this is like, 
you're going to let it unfold because ultimately she is the adventure for you. Ultimately, she she rules. She is the one that's got the command of the sword, the command of all. She's really smart. Like she's a bit of a fucking brainiac. It's like when you went to the gambling hall, she could count the cards from a distance. So it's like she she really got a lot of intelligence about her and does things in a different way. She doesn't have the usual... So it sounds so sexist. She doesn't have the usual female emotional blah, blah, blah. She, she operates like a man of the time in, in that kind of setting would operate. She's shrewd. She's calculating. She sometimes is ruthless. She knows what she needs and she goes for what she needs and that's what she's going to have. And she's going to have it on paper, on printed, whatever. Whatever it needs to be manipulated into what paper, blah, 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 it would be. So it would be, she wouldn't lose the business because that's not how it's ever going to be set. She understands. She built loopholes into something legal that would be like a business. Um, it almost feels like you open either your own gaming hall or maybe your own bordello slash gaming hall. It's mostly just the gaming that she needs. It's like um, there was enough bordello going on on the side, but she didn't care about red light. That wouldn't have offended her, and it wouldn't have caused her any kind of grief or anything at all, but it wouldn't have been how she would want to put anybody in position. She, she, would, she wouldn't be somebody that would take advantage in that way. Her strength is her ability to do what's just and what's fair karmically, even though it might look a little bit differently. In this one, this one, she's she's right here. She can face down the devil himself and he would lose. And here you were like Casanova, all oh, Casanova. Oh yeah. And she's saying, you'll yield it my way or not at all to the entire world. This is a woman who has the attribute attributes that you had in your youth just out of just like straight up care charismatic luck that you used and that this charmed you and you were afraid of going in deep in relationship because of the coldness that you had experienced and seen and yet you're drawn to this it's not like you married your mother you married more of your father's energy of this cold and calculating energy but she's also very charismatic and you both get each other as as players you understand each other quite thoroughly The truth of the end. How does it end? Ugh. I think you guys have to settle down and maybe settle accounts, ad ad adjust to what's coming forward because as time goes forward, church enters into it. Now, I don't know who's church or what, but the traditional sense of church enters in it and the Wild West starts settling down, starts getting more tame. And this is what you guys find that you have to do. You do have to tame it down, which means you have to shut down the business and a little bit of the shenanigans, or not shut down, dial down the business and the shenanigans somewhat. Does it end? It does end. There's a different dream that has to be pursued, but you guys have had a good run. And this is several years. This feels like well over a decade of run. She is grieving, grieving, grieving because she feels like her independence is getting robbed because the church has moved into the, the area, the town quite a bit. And now it's crowding things. You show up as the emperor here. You finally level up to match her. You set up a different situation. What do you set up? You move. You travel and move in your later years, which is really surprising, but you do walk away from what it was. You take you take the money that you've gotten out of the situation and you both move for the sake of her. But she's going to have to be more genteel. And you know that that's a tricky thing. I think you offer things. I think you... 
you offer things like, I don't know if it's a grocery market or a store or a trade store. I can't tell that yet. It looks like it would have books. It looks like it would have products. It looks like it would be money and endeavor. It's, it, it's like you offer a market of a sort. Different, different goods. Different goods and services and things that people need to know, things that people need to have on hand that are the basics you would have. It's a whole different thing. It's much more settled down and stable. You guys are quite happy. It works out. You just set up something that suits a more um, traditional thing. Shocking, shocking. Neither of you had aspired to do that. But it's like there was a, a force that came into play. Uh, when, when the church came into town, it's like you, you, couldn't, you, couldn't, be as, you couldn't be as wild. But it, it gave you like what is your castle and your kingdom and your happy. It was very happy. This connection was very, very happy and wild and tawdry and crazy. But that's what it was. That's complete. That's where it ends. That's where it stops. Yeah. You, it took you years to catch up to the Casanova that was her. I think you did settle down. And I don't think it felt like you settled for or settled with losses or anything. Like, you didn't feel compromised. You just did eventually settle down. That's complete. Holy shit. That was crazy. The two Casanovas. Who'd have thunk it? That's complete. Wow. Yeah, that was a wild one. <laughs>